Look at this deer swimming across the river. Look at him out there. I flushed him out of the bank and he's swimming across. Look here. There's a deer right here swimming in the water. I'm out on the river. It's really cold, but I got my first artifact. Like a chirp too right there, grass. You see it? It's been a night here. It doesn't look like it's the best thing, but it's an artifact. It's not bad for what it is. It's Crooksville chirp. It's a little knife. It's not bad, it's a whole artifact. You need nothing off of it, a little leaf blade. So ain't not bad. All right, here's this little uh, knife I found. It's Crooksville Churd, it's like the cobble form of it. It's not bad. You can see the little orange spots on it there, that's typical of the material. See the cortex of it there, and some at the tip. Some kind of little tool. I found something awesome after this, so something that's hard to find, a beautiful point. You'll see it up next in the video. Thanks for watching. I've done some sifting in here, and I found a bunch of flakes of flint. Not a bunch, maybe a dozen to 15. But I was going to go where I found that kirk, like, earlier this month, last month. But it's on the opposite side of the river, and the sun down hit it. And this is frozen solid up here, the sand. So it'll be frozen solid all the way to the water over there. It's cold, but I won't be able to get there. I'm gonna try to find something else here later. Well guys, I got a month maker. Been looking for one of these stinking things. I mean, I've looked for hours and I've been finding some stuff, you know, I find that knife and that bird point, but this is what I'm looking for. And I was sifting right up in here, you can see, and then I went down the shore and I've been down there an hour. Haven't found nothing except flakes of flint. Um, the water dropped, it was right in here. So this is where I was sifting and they opened the locks up the river further and some barges came through, which it lowered the water a foot. So I started coming in here below this and man, I got an Amos point. Do you see it? It's got a needle tip, it's serrated. It looks just absolutely awesome. Man, the hard work paid off. See if you see it. Look here, there's a flake. But do you see the point? There's another flake. I'm gonna have to do several in here. The water's way down now. Lower than it's gonna be probably for a while. But man, this looks nice. You see it now? It's right here. Oh, folks. Look at this. Oh, man. Look at the serrations and the needle tip. Let me get my glove off. Oh, this is a beauty. Look at that perfect condition. Oh, right. Look at this. I mean, it's 19 degrees out here. I'm about, I was about ready to go, but I sucked it up and stayed. I can see the grinding on the base. The notches will be real ground. Let me get my glove off. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Man, that's nice. All there, there's nothing off of it anywhere. Nicely, really nicely serrated. Little needle tip on it. Ground base and notches. Just a beauty. Look at the serrations. Man, folks. Man, look at them serrations. Wow, folks. I did it. Later. All right, here's a real close up of this point. Boy, it's a beauty. Look at them serrations on that left side. You can see some of the tan in the material. It's got a real ground polished base. Not quite as heavily as like a big sandy base or a Clovis base, but 
you can probably see it right there, the grinding. It's medium to a lot. But look at these serrations on that and the needle tip. These kind of points are hard to find. Points like this, especially in this time of year, sifting in cold water. It was cold today. But there's a good look at it. Notches are ground too. I'm happy to get that. Um, there'll be some more clips after this and at the end of the video I'll put up some videos where you can see a bunch. I f found way nicer ones than this, but this is a good one. That needle tip and stuff and you can watch the videos and see a lot more of them where I get out big cases. I've looked for these points all my life. Thanks for watching. More clips up now. Alright, I'm on my back to the car and I saw this setting up here. It's like a boat. It's got a little bit of cracking to it, but I'm going to take it. I got some plans for this. Um, just wait till you see what's up next. You're going to get a kick out of this. Well, anyway, I'll get back to you. I put Squirrel Man in his new boat and he sunk it immediately. Are you clinging on for dear life? Get up here. Squirrel Man sunk it within seconds. Look, it floats good. You sunk the boat and you got all wet. You in the boat, Squirrel Man, the captain. Are you in the boat, Squirrel Man? What's going on here? You already sunk it once. I put him in it and he tipped it over and it, it sunk. What? You have to stay in the boat. You can't jump out. What a dandy. Squirrel man, did you get a boat? You get a Tell him, you got to get a bath just like everybody else. You get stinky. Look at him. He can touch up here at the top. He's all right. It's the groundhog. Swimming laps. Tell him you have to swim laps because you're putting on the pounds. You got to get some exercise. It's it's squirrel man training. I can't believe you you sunk your boat, buddy. Look at him. He just swims in circles. Now you're all right. Get up there. You can touch up in the shallow water. What a dandy, huh? I got your boat and you you destroyed it. Sunk it. He likes the water though. Look at him. Here. What? You got a big gut squirrel gut on you. Tell him you just got like a five pound bag of pecans and almonds today and you already had like 20 of them. So you're getting some squirrel exercise. You want to try your boat again? I'll see if he'll get in his boat again. I found him. So tell him you got a toy. You got your own boat now. You're the captain. All right, I'll get back in a minute. Look what I got to deal with. A wet squirrel now. Tell him you smell like a wet dog. You've been in there swimming. You sunk your boat. You sunk it. He'll get all warmed up and go in and have some treats. But thanks for watching. I'm heading to a dump here in the morning, so... Hopefully I can find some nice marbles or something cool. I'll probably look around in some older areas and maybe try to find an old bottle and some jars or something. I'm sure I'll come up with something later. I can't tell if that's stoneware. I'm in the dump. Or a piece of enamelware. But we'll see here in a minute. I think it might be enamelware. But it might be a white crock. I can't tell. Hold on. It's an enamelware pot with a black and white handle on it. And the handle's still sticking off of it. It's the first one I've ever found with a handle on it. It's almost worth taking. It's real solid. It could be cleaned up. Enamelware is kind of collectible. I don't know if I'll take that or not. It's kind of cool. But yeah, it's been like five more minutes since that enamelware pot. But I got a marble here. It just looks like a blue cat eye though. If I keep finding crappy marbles in here, there's a lot of marble kings in here. And I just didn't care about them. But it looks like a blue cat eye maybe. It is. It's just a blue cat eye, an average marble. I'll get back if I see any better ones. All right, this is an odd little glass bottle. 
It's got like a crown top on it. And right here it says easy dip wheel. I think. Or maybe well. Easy dip well. W-E-L-L. -L. It's perfect. I'm going to take it and look it up. I'm curious to what that is. You know, I'd say it's like 40s or 50s, but that is weird. It looks like a little cleaner bottle or something. Some kind of cleaner, I would guess, but I don't know. We'll look it up. There'll be pictures of what it is next. Later. <laughs> We take that to trade. They're kind of cool bottles, you know. Huh. Even up in this newer trash, there's a, a croc. This is not nearly as desirable as the salt glaze crocs. This is either some kind of little butter croc, it's white, tan, and brown, or a jug. I can't tell. But you know, it'd be worth 30 or 40 bucks perfect. There's a big difference in that kind of stuff than the salt glazed ones with the blue letters but that still would have been a cool find nonetheless there could be some whole ones in here later in a crockery marble i thought it was just one of them stinking solid white ones but it's a solid white bennington and i've never found one of these and i thought i saw another marble in here and then i gave up on it and then i took two more rakes in the bank and found this one so i'd say there's another marble here someplace i'm gonna have to look for it um but right here let me wipe this off. You can see right here on the bottom where it was laying in the kiln. See that darker spot? And it's crockery glaze Bennington and it's solid white. It's a clay marble with a glaze. Hold on and I'll clean it off. Yeah, you can see it here. Let me get out of the direct sun. There's some older stuff in here. This is in 1900 or before marble. Right there, that little rough spot is where it's set in the kiln. And the glaze didn't really take on it. It's right there. It's like a rough spot. But that's a nice marble. I've never found a white Bennington. A solid white crockery one. It's like the color of a crock. One of these white and brown ones. That's nice. There's a bunch of them in here because I just got another one. Never found one. Now I've got two. This is the way it works with dump digging. You see it? Another Bennington. Right here. All right. These are nice. I don't have any white ones. They're kind of irregular shaped. They're not, they're round, but you can tell they're hand rolled clay and then glaze. Man, that's cool. Wow, two of them. Hopefully I can find some more. Yeah, I see another marble. Do you see it? There's a nice layer of stuff. It's not that old. There's some older stuff right on the bottom of it. It's easy digging though and there's marbles in it. So I'm gonna stay here and dig some. Uh, it looks like one of them little clear base vitro peewee size. It's right here. That's what it is. It's a vitro agate made in Parkersburg, West Virginia, and it's just got the color of an ear on the outside. You'll be able to see clear through this marble. Hold on here. See? Look how translucent it is. And it looks solid green when you hold it like that, but you can see them like when that's a beautiful marble and it's little It's just a tad above a true peewee That's nice Real nice condition. I'll take marbles like this. That's a pretty nice find. We got two old clay ones later. There's a beam since 1795 cork top but you know just because it's cork top doesn't mean it's this is probably 40s, but I'm going to take it since it says Jim Beam, and it's kind of got a nice top on it. It's worth a few dollars, I would guess. But you can see I've dug all this out. There's marbles in here. No more handmade ones, but I found a German handmade marble right there above me like a year ago. So there's old ones in here. But, you know, there's my first cobalt blue bottle of the day. I take all these. People want them. They're worth at least a dollar a piece. I trade them to an antique dealer. I've got so many of them, I can't keep them all. I don't see anything else. That's some kind of aspirin bottle or something there. It's still got the... like cotton in it. But I'm looking up in here. This stuff isn't as old as I like. If there wasn't marbles here, I wouldn't be digging. But somebody threw away a bunch of marbles here. 
Well, that looks to be a milk right there, but it's one of these square ones. New embossing. I didn't figure it would. It's an old, you know, it's 50s. But I'll get back. Got another marble. Um, you see it? It's in the field of view now. It's right here. See what we got? Yeah, it's a blue cat eye. But it's got a real nice pattern to it. It's it's actually kind of nice, but it's a common. Well, it's not. It's a two color one. I'll put up a clip after this. It's a real good camera. This has tips on it. This is beautiful. Oh, it's got like gold green tips on it on every that's kind of nice it's kind of tan green brown on a blue it makes it nice every little wing of that has color on the tip that's nice i don't know if, how good you can see that with this gopro i think you can see it there now i'm looking through the viewfinder but i'll get back Got another marble here you see it it's right here. Looks like another one of these blue cat eyes. Huh. This is more of a, a swirl or something. Let me get this cleaned off. No, this is more just like a swirl in there. It's some kind of real odd. It's like a cat eye. It might be some kind of like vitro. Um, cage cat eye, weird one kind of what it looks like it's no marble king right there you can kind of see it looks like a cage cat eye right there if you look at it see it you can see that it's kind of nice it's real nice condition but you know it's 60s that bottle right here I think is a double cola you can start to see some of it there I think that's a double cola from the 60s so I'd say the marbles from the 60s too I'm getting up, the higher I go up the bank, the nearer the trash is. Yeah, I was gonna come down here and try to find some more of them little Christmas figurines like in my last video. But, yeah, it's free solid from clear down into there. I can't get this all busted out. See, that's a freezing piece of earth. It got down in the teens last night. It's only like 20 some degrees now. It's cold. I'll have to go back up around that hill where it's looser and I can actually rake. Didn't no go here later. See, this is what I run into when it's real cold like this. See all this? The sun's up there all day, sets over in there. This never really gets any sun and it's, it's froze. I can't really dig here. It's just too much of a burden. I was finding all kinds of marbles in here. See all the trash laying here. But I'll have to go up there where I was digging in the first clips of this video. It's about the only place I can dig today. I saw this before. It's down here under the leaf. This is a salt glaze crock sticking out. Oh, look at that. Man, that's a heartbreaker. You know, that would have been a thousand plus dollars complete. Oh, no. I have to look around in here. There's probably st old stuff here. See this stuff? See the glass sticking out of this pile? Some of it's new, but there's old stuff in here. Oh, that's a heartbreaking crock. I have to look all around. I'm kind of eyeballing some places to dig now. Later. So every trip I find a wheat penny. Or a penny coin of some kind. Right there you can see Lincoln. And on the back I could see the one cent. Hold on. Yeah, you just have to take my word for it. It says one cent. You can tell the memorial's not on it. But I can see the C right there. In the like wheat. That'll be nice condition. Could be a. A decent wheat penny. You know, they have that nice green patina. But I won't, I'm gonna find one more marble maybe or try to. And this might be it. I'm whipped from arrowhead hunting yesterday. 
I got these two Bennington marbles and that'll probably be about it on this one. It's getting later in the day. I had to sleep in this morning. It's a weekend. Get some rest. Get him to relax. Looks like a nice ACL bottle right there. I'm gonna have to hurry up. This is gonna go. See that? It buckled. That's one of these. Parkersburg, West Virginia. Can be cleaned up. I'm leaving this dump now. You can see it's a nice sunny day. It feels all right standing here in this sun, but you can see over on them hills over there, there's just snow all over them. And it's only 20 some degrees. It's pretty deceptive, it's cold out here. But if you stay moving around and dress warm, it ain't as bad as you think. You know, this is the way I look at it. There's some guy herding reindeer in Siberia right now where it's like minus 20. It's just, you can take it, believe me. Later.